I would describe my leadership style as a passionate. I'm a big believer in you can teach people skills as long as they have the will. So, so I often put that first in, in kind of the way I lead as well. I've learned that you cannot direct somebody to do their best, but you can guide people and you can create an environment that would actually send the message that if you do your best, you get such wonderful positive energy. I like to select people that are bright, talented, resourceful, and then give them the opportunity to shine. We're a service industry and we're only as good as our staff members, so uh, I think it's very important to collaborate at all levels of the organization. I like everybody to feel that they're part of a team. It's not this, you're the boss and you tell everybody lower than you what to do. It's we're all in this together. We all have skin in the game. We all want to build something really positive. My leadership style is coachable. I like to coach people, I like to work with them, I like to have a mission, I like to align the individual's missions as well as the company mission in an effort to create value. At QED, we work smart, but we also work hard, very diligently. And I guess it's my tough love that has pushed us beyond our limits sometimes, but it's kept us feeling trusted and um, secure enough to make innovative steps. So my leadership style has been to be very approachable. I found that that's really important as you're growing a startup to make sure that everyone's voice is heard and if there are any problems that they're quickly addressed. I think the most rewarding aspect of leadership for me has been to have the ability to be able to drive change and to innovate in an industry that all too often is just business as usual. You should set your goals really, really high. It's not important how quickly you get there. I think the most important thing is to get there. Over communicate, I, I really believe that transparency is, is important at all levels of an organization and that if you're transparent um, and people know what you're doing and what you're planning on doing, um, that it's, an, it's easier for people to buy in and feel part of it all. The best piece of advice I ever received was from my father. He always believed in failing forward and so ever since I was young I always realized that there was actually no actually true failing. There was always learning from everything that you do and moving forward from that. Do not tell someone you're the answer to their prayers until you find out what they've been praying for. It's basically saying listen and then speak. Know thyself. Trying to do a self-evaluation, self-analysation, you know, retrospecting, I think it's important to be able to understand more about ourselves because in that process we also understand others. And there's so many times you have to make these decisions and you don't know when you're making them if they're the right or wrong thing and you follow your gut and you follow your instincts and you can't beat yourself up on it afterwards. You've made it, you've just got to go with it and even if it's not the right decision, you find the positive out of it, the contrast of what you don't want for the next time. We have what we refer to as a quarterly accomplishments meeting. And that's where everybody on the staff gets together and they announce what they've accomplished. There's a specific routine or ritual that has really helped me be an effective leader and it's a combination of meditation, breath work and yoga. We have a platform that services millions of young women around the world and every single day we have the opportunity to impact their lives even more so. What keeps me up at night then is knowing that we have to build a strong infrastructure internally to support that external growth and impact. 